It's a very collaborative space. The words outside St. Mary's Academy are echoed by the students inside. In my time being here, I feel so much more confident going out in the world and just being comfortable with who I am. Olivia Cordova is a senior at the all girls school in downtown Portland. She's standing in one of two fab labs, home of the robotics team, the St. Mary's Beta Blues. OK, so this is our this year's robot. This is all our design. We do take inspiration from past years, but for the most part, this is all of this year's team members like putting our heads together. Olivia's older sister was one of the founding members of the Beta Blues, and she's carrying on the legacy of the largest all girls robotics team in the country with over 40 members. It's also very empowering stepping into a male dominated space and just being so confident because we know so much. When you go in there, you don't need to know how to do it. Just being part of that program, you will learn how to do it. Principal Leanne Ray is all about giving students an opportunity to chase their curiosity. She takes pride in watching them take ownership. You know, maybe they don't go on to build a robot, but we can see that the skills that they learned in building a robot, they're applying that to solve like really complex problems in the field that they choose. I feel that with my peers and also the teachers, it's tremendous the support that they give us. Irna Langer is another St. Mary senior. She fell in love with STEM in third grade. At the time, Leanne was a science teacher at her school. I think that mentorship is definitely one of the best tools to get to a more gender equitable field because I know for me seeing mentors or people who've gone before me that gives me confidence. Irna plans to major in physics or engineering. Olivia is looking at biomedical engineering. Here and develop like prosthetics. My main interest includes um, like designing sensory devices for people with disabilities. The Beta Blues next competition is in Salem in a couple weeks. They'll take their robot confidence and curiosity too. That's how you solve big problems. That's how you figure out when you need to collaborate. And if you stay curious, um, you know that's how we kind of address the problems of today and predict the, the problems we need to solve for the future. In Southwest Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.